Hello, my name is Geert Boekaert. I'm from the University of Leuven in Belgium and I'm very pleased to be here in Budapest at Corvinus University. My university, the KU Leuven, has been working already since 1992 with the colleagues here first at the Budapest University of Economic Sciences and then uh, obviously with the excellent team here at Corvinus. My research is about public sector reform and you should know that in general there are like two major groups in this story. One group supposes that the public sector is part of the problem. However, I belong to the school that is convinced that the public sector is part of the solution in a society. And that's why we have to study it carefully and we need to make sure it is performing. So the word performance becomes a key concept in the whole story of reforming the public sector to make it more fit for purpose in a performing society. A key question is of course, why is performance important? We all know that uh, the legitimacy of systems is crucial. And for a long time, for the public sector and its government, it was sufficient to say that if only you follow the rule of law and you make sure there's a kind of transparent decision-making, including elections, that, will, that, that was sufficient to be legitimate. This is not the case anymore. Increasingly, a public sector and its government needs to demonstrate that it is performing that it is creating value added, that it is part of the solution and that it is possible to solve problems. And that brings us, of course, to the issue of performance as such. And performance can be defined in a kind of logic of consequences. It is about inputs, it's about what you do with these inputs, activities, but that's in the black box of a public sector. It's certainly about delivering to citizens about the outputs which are delivered in society and are the result of the policies. And of course it's about outcomes, it's about effects, it's about the impact that you have with your services, with your policies. And hopefully that ultimately leads also to trust. Trust becomes a crucial part of a performing public sector. The worst thing that can happen in a society that is that it is distrusting its systems. And so trust is a crucial element and became a crucial element of the performance of uh, systems. And that brings us, of course, to some key words in the performance literature and practice, that is economy, efficiency and effectiveness. Uh, countries, policies, organizations, they have to show, they want to show that they work in an economic way, in an efficient way, in an effective way. And sometimes we add a fourth E, which is equity or equality. That's the logic of consequences. You put something into the machinery and there is an output and there is an impact. There is also a logic of appropriateness, of course. Appropriateness is about behavior, proper behavior, of civil servants and politicians. It is of, uh, about corruption, of course. It's about conflicts of interest. But it's also about transparency. It's also about inclusion. Inclusive policies are part of appropriate uh, behavior of a public sector. And so it's important to measure these things because we cannot assume this happens automatically. Measuring uh, the performance of systems is crucial, is essential, but it's not necessary. We have to include this in documents, in the whole policy cycle, in the budget documents, in the design and the strategic plans, in the contracts we have within the public sector and with the public sector in the contracting out. It's about following up performance, it's about evaluating and auditing uh, performance, and that all is part of a very complex system of cycles 
which we have to monitor, which we have to control. And that brings us to the use of performance information and the reform strategy. The, the use of it is, of course, crucial to make sure it creates value added. It's about controlling, it's about steering and correcting measures. But it's also about learning, because if we can compare, we can learn from others. We have to share these experiences. In a strategy to improve performance in the public sector, we actually want to learn from better practices. And the third element, next to steering and control and learning, is accountability. It becomes crucial in a public sector to take responsibility for the performance of a system, of an organization, of a policy. But it's even more important to be accountable, to be accountable for this performance of that of which you were responsible for. Accountability and responsibility for performance become crucial mechanisms in a legitimate public sector. This is what I'm teaching, this is what I'm researching, and hopefully some of you will benefit from these ideas. Thank you very much.